Hello and good day. So today we'll be unboxing and uh, no, well we'll not be testing today. I don't have an IP camera to test with, but at least we'll be unboxing the IP CCTV tester TMIP HD7 straight out of China. You can buy it in California if you want. Same place it come from. Anyhow, the uh, reason why I bought this particular device on eBay was, well, I have to install some IP cameras and uh, this is the, well, not the cheapest one I could find, but the cheapest one that could get the job done. Just to test it out because I'm now getting into that field. However, I was trying to do some research on the actual product and realized there's not a single video about this particular product on YouTube. So I decided to make one. You know, time to contribute to YouTube as much as it has given to me. Anyway, on with the unboxing. Well, for starters, you get this in a nice box. And you get inside. Nothing fancy. Get the... Uh, Hold on, I'm using a phone here. Get this bag in a pouch. Well, pouch in the box. So let me just. Alright, there's nothing else in the box, so you can pretty much just toss this away. Alright, so. Right, so we're dealing with the pouch now. Alright, nice study, nice feeling pouch. Some Velcro. Alright, trying to get that open. There's a couple of zippers. Let's see what's in the zip. Open up inside. What do we have? Alright, uh, it looks like a patch cable. And uh, something else in here. Alright, this is a strap of some sort. What else is there? This is uh, not a strap. I guess this is just for the bag. So what is that small strap for? We'll find out. Uh, this zipper. Check in here. Yeah, right. That's it for inside the outer pouch. So inside. Ah, good stuff. Inside we have the actual device. Alright. So it's like a regular cement tablet. It has CCTV and IPC test on it. Uh, Nice little plastic. Uh, the this blue part here, the rugged eyes casing, I guess. So we have on the sides uh, a USB. What is that? Three USB three port, uh, charging port, Ethernet port, SD card port, and I guess this is the DC out. So. Yeah, there are descriptions on the back. I don't know if you can see this clearly. I'm not sure you can see that clearly. There's some indentations like markings. Alright, so there's a kind of kickstand here. Yeah, it's like a kickstand, but it's really flimsy. So I guess we can put it to stand up. Will it stand? Oh, I guess it works. Nice. So it works. Oops, not too much. So I won't be using it for the kickstand anyway. So all right, we have that. Um, we'll power it on in a minute. What else is there? Uh, nothing else. No wait. There's another part of the pouch. There's something else inside here. What is it? All right. So there's other stuff. All right. So we have. Okay. I guess this is the power out jack. And. What is this? Oh, nice. This is, I guess, to test analog cameras with. This is like uh, audio, I guess, video, audio, and this is for power. Looks like, looks like a positive and negative lead. And it's all connected by USB. I guess this is where the USB 3 ports it's going to connect to. All right, cool. Nothing wrong with that. Anything else in here? Oh, hold up, wait. There is something else. What is this? What is this? What is this? Okay. Oh! Power supply. <laughs> yeah, there's a power supply in here as well. Alright, 
so anything else in the bag I could say that the bag is nice there's a nice little clip to attach to your belt I might not even be using that so all right so that's the bag and yeah this is what you get all right so now we're gonna power up the device hope the kickstand doesn't fall down so get the power button on did I press it long enough? There you go. Alright, so it comes on. Alright, HD7. Okay. It's powering up. Doing what it's supposed to do, I guess. Okay, alright, there you go. Alright, so uh, let's uh, check out a few functions and see if it does what it says. So right off the gate, I notice it's like a regular um, Android tablet. You have some settings. I'm going to check the settings and all right, yeah, you could change the language to, I guess, whatever language you speak. So yeah, you could change some language settings. Oh. What is that? What language did I get? Hope I didn't do anything stupid. Alright, yeah, so... Yeah. Language. Let's get back to that. Australian English. Okay, there we go. So, we're going to Australian English. Let's get back to United States English. Alright, so... Yeah, so that's language for you. And well, we have Wi Fi that's kind of self explanatory, so you could pretty much log into whatever Wi Fi. Now, I'm connected to my own, which is the first one up there. So you just basically join, like how you join any other Wi Fi. And well, I guess there's a sleep timer, this is for brightness, screen brightness. Alright, so. It's alright. It's like a it's like a regular Android tablet, so I guess these settings just take you to those tabs. Now I see here there's a 12 volt output. I'm assuming this is for when you're powering cameras that use 12 volts. You just as for the instructions that I read earlier, you just pretty much all right, get that to come on and then you'll have 12 volt 12 volts going out. Uh, we won't be able to test that out today because I don't have an IP camera with me. Test it out. Alright, alright, but it still comes out. So you go back to the home screen. There's other functions. Uh, app manager. You come here and you can um, basically update the apps that are on the, on the tablet. You can update any one of the apps. You just have to select anyone and press update. See, it says OK. Okay, I'll cancel. All right, and then you just literally press OK. Or you have to be connected to Wi-Fi, so it'll just go through an upgrade process. And I already have the latest version, so it really the upgrade won't really do anything. But you know, it's good to have in there in case as time progresses, you need to update something it can update. I mean, the primary focus for this would just simply be to um, just basically install IP cameras. So hopefully, I won't have to do too many upgrades. But it's good to know it has this feature there. So while we wait for it to update, uh, let's just see what's going on. All right. So when it updates, you just have to click install. There you go, it starts installing, and I guess if you need the update, it'll install everything. And that'll be that. Alright, so we're back at the main menu, and this is for the main feature that I'm pretty sure that if you're watching this video, you probably want to know about, and that's if the IP camera works. This is what I've found so far. It can do an IP search for it. Uh, you have your settings, so you can, you know, select the range of IPs to check. Or you know, you could do an IPC search. There's auto mode admin. So let's do IPC search. 
see what's on what's on the internet so normally when you get to this point as per the instructions what you do is that you hit this part and the camera is supposed to start giving you an image now it's saying you can open the camera because obviously this is not a camera IP this is some other IP probably my phones or the device itself uh, well it says 177 here is the device but this is probably my phone's device so yeah so uh, yeah that's for that feature I'll test that in another video we'll get a live test and there you have well, you have the camera this is for analog where you basically would have the stuff plugged into analog using um, I guess this cable here We're using this plugged into the side and it attaches to the camera and you'll be able to see through this feature so this is for that and then you can also do your ping so you could probably look for the camera you could probably ping this out so let's ping let's ping the router see what we get so you ping the router and then you just get a continuous ping so it's gonna reply for one one which is my router and it's good now we just have to stop it and make sure you have a connection you know so that's that's a good feature right there and pdz you just put in your, um, your your protocol board rates i mean that that will be on the camera so you know what to put in and then you press scan and it'll go you can press test and it'll sort it out so all these features we'll be testing as time goes along and also it has a web browser so of course chrome everybody loves chrome except when chrome don't work so you can go on chrome you can go i guess youtube all right so you could browse the web if you have an internet connection all right so you can go to youtube right there hello there you go youtube yeah hey, and you could uh, watch a youtube video on installing ip cameras yeah so yeah youtube works just fine so, yeah all right so we could come out of that and that's pretty much it there's a help section here that pretty much outlines what it can do so it's like a slider it just say welcome yada 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 and then you just go through it tells you what to do you know pretty much what we went through it gives you a, like you know a little guideline and how to do stuff so in case you ever get lost or stuck you know just come to this and there's a section with frequently asked questions here camera is getting this I'm not getting it too well because I'm taping this on my phone as I said so yeah that's uh, pretty much it right there and it's just like a tablet you come here and you can get rid of the apps that you in close them out you know good old Android 4.2.2 yeah so that's what is running actually so let's get into the no not there it's not where I want to go. All right, so we'll go. Where is it? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll go here. Oh, really? We can go here and get into the settings and just go straight to. Well, there's still in storage. The same storage is there. Uh, there's no SD card. You see, SD card. 1.4 oh there's an external NT X oh yeah so you can put in a SD card and get like 32 gigs extra if you want but for now what it has is uh 1.4 gigs so it's like two gigs are internal memory not much but it already has all the apps it needs so you don't need to be downloading stuff anyway so yeah it's a specific use it's going to the about so it's running Android 4.2.2, firmware 2.0. Yeah, there you go. Model number. Yep. So the status. There you go. Uh, it's no IMEI, IP address 158. Oh, that's interesting. Right, so get the MAC address. Right, so you can get some information about it here. 
and that's pretty much it. Yeah. You can put on USB debugging in the developer mode, but I'm not gonna get into all of that. Location access, users, apps, battery, storage, display and sound. You know, all these are things you could play around with, you know, but that's pretty much it. It's a nice little device. I'll get a proper test and uh, see how it goes. Alright, thanks for viewing. Once again, you can like, dislike, uh, subscribe if you want. Thank you once again from us here at Fixwin PC. Thank you for your time.